Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Waga, and I just wanted to show um, on our Swift UI app how we can um, achieve the the double tap to like feature, right? That is uh, available on Instagram, right? So when we come to our image here, and um, I didn't show this in the in the first video in the app showcase because I hadn't implemented it, but I just implemented it and I wanted to go over it really quickly, right? And show how it's done, right? And also show how you do the scale effect when you double, when you tap on the hat, right? So let's start with the hat. When you hit the hat button, when you come to the hat button and you tap on it, it shrinks and then the color goes out and we have a clear hat, right? And of course, this key, um, this is the backend from Firebase, so it goes to two, right? But we won't talk about the Firebase backend. We'll be implementing it when we get to that video, uh, which will be a few videos out, right? But um, what we could do is when you um, we could showcase how we do this, um, the double tap and the the scale animation when we type on the hat. So when you tap on the hat, it grows bigger, and then we see a colored hat. And when we tap, um, when we double tap on the image. We see a clear heart through the image and then the color goes out of a liked photo and it also goes down here. And if we double tap on it, we should see a heart, a colored heart, and this should also gain color, right? So when we do that, we see a colored heart and then this heart down here also gains color. And then the next thing that happens is that you should notice is that this, um, when we double tap, the heart at the bottom does not scale. It only scales when we tap on it, right? So you see it, it just loses color or gains color depending on when we tap on it. But when we tap on it, we gain the color and we lose color. So basically, let us look at how we can implement this feature. We have is in our assets, we've just dragged in a random picture of a lion in this case, right? Which will act like the image of our picture on our Instagram clone, which we will get to in the series. And um, it's resizable, the aspect ratio is dot fill, the frame is 400 and it is clipped. Just basically that, just you can use any picture for this, right? The lion, we have um, a, a button um, which is shaped as a hat, which is shaped as a hat from the SF symbols, right? And you have set it to large. Okay, now we can get to work. What we need to figure out is um, how to make the, um, the hat button scale when we tap on it, right? So when we tap on it, we want it to scale, right? So for that, we need a couple of uh, property wrappers and we could create them now. We could say the first one could be state and it's going to be called animate. And this one is going to start off as false. And after that, we have another one. Uh, we could just copy this, right? It's going to be a lot of the same. So we could just copy it, come create another one and this one is going to be the like animation like animation and this one is going to start off as false also and um, we're going to have another one called is liked is liked and this one is going to be false as well and we're going to have the, dura the duration of how long we want the um, the animation to occur right and we could say private let duration and this is going to be a double and you can set whatever number you want we could set maybe let's say 0.04 right and afterwards we want um the animation scale right so the animation scale is going to be a core graphic float uh how big we want it to be from um the current size that is and um we could say private var animation scale and this is going to be uh, CG float and it is going to check whether or not it's liked so is liked and it's going to scale um, you can pick any arbitrary numbers I'm going to go to with 0 0.6 to 2.0 like so right and um, okay, let's give it a bit of space here yeah like so and we're going to create a function which is going to just perform the main uh, animation and we can say func and we can say perform animation and it's going to be on our main queue so we're going to say dispatch queue domain async after async after and we're just going to pass in um, the deadline and it's going to be now and um, now and we 
want to add the number of milliseconds and the number of milliseconds pick a number I'm going to go with 1500 1500 like so and afterwards what we want to do is we want to set our like animation to false right after that period we want to set our like animation to false like so right now the next thing we need to do is we need to come to our our button in question right and we come to where the action is and um, we can go in here and the first thing we could do first is we could maybe add some padding here so that it, it's not too close so that when it expands it doesn't expand into the picture we could add some padding padding like so and afterwards we could come and we could put the scale effect we want to be um, in effect and it's going to check on the animate that we created um, up here right so and we're going to use a ternary and we're just going to use the animation scale right uh, the animation scale that we used here uh, that we created here the animation scale and um, based on that we're either going to have the animation scale or one right and the animation we want to use is going to be animation the animation is just going to be uh, we're going to ease in and um, the duration is going to be the duration that we created up there you could pass it in here but we just created it up there basically that now on our button action we could come and uh, we could set the self animate to be true right self dot animate that animate we set it to true right and afterwards on our main queue we uh, we set the self animate to false after the duration and then we also toggle the like right so we come here and we say dispatch dispatch queue on our main queue right on our main queue um we say ace async after and um the deadline is going to be deadline is going to be now like so and uh, we add the the duration that we created and what we want executed execute what we want executed is quite simply uh, we want to set the self dot animate we want to set it to false after that time period we want to set it to false and after that we also want to toggle the liked right so we could say self dot is liked and we just want to toggle it if it's um if it's false make it true if it's true make it false right and don't forget the dot before the now like so right so basically that we could hit resume on the canvas and we could try it out right canvas but if you try it out on the simulator uh, you can see um it grows bigger when you click on it and when we don't when it's false we it grows smaller right so another thing we could do is we could add the color for the various state whether it's been liked or not right so that we can get better better representative feedback and that's what you're going to do um when we want to give uh, better visual feedback on whether it has been liked or not we could add the color and um also fill it out with um yeah we could add the color right and so how we would do that is we would come here and on the system name we could put a ternary we could say um we could come here and say is liked put a ternary and if it's liked we want it to be hat dot fill if not we want it to be just a heart right so we can tell whether or not it has been liked right heart like that and um another thing we could do is uh afterwards after the image scale we could add a color depending on whether it's liked or not right so you could have a foreground color and the foreground color is going to be based on the same ternary right it's going to we're going to use is liked is liked like so and if it is we want it to be dot red and if it's not we want it to be dot black like so right so basically that simulator we should get um better visual feedback so if we hit this we check um it becomes red and becomes bigger and it becomes smaller and is now uh transparent the red color is gone so red transparent red transparent so basically that is done now the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out how to put the um, 
the the double tap to like feature right and that's what we're going to work on next how we would draw the hat over the image is we would use a z stack to overlay the image right so what we could do is we could come um to the where the image of the lion is and what we could do is we could wrap it with a z stack right so we could put a z stack here come here and wrap the image of the lion in a z stack right and we are going to give it an alignment of center and we are going to say alignment okay okay let's just remove all that alignment and the alignment is going to be center like so and afterwards what we want to do is we want to have the um to give it an on tap on an, an on tap gesture right so we could come here and say on tap gesture like so and uh an on tap gesture you could uh, you could you could put as a parameter the number of, of taps you want right so that before the code is executed right and in our case we want to right for it to be double tap right so we could say we want two taps so it can be a double tap and here we're going to set the like animation to be true the like animation that we created um we're now going to use this uh, function that we created so the like animation that we created we're going to set it as true here and after that we are going to call the function that we just created we created a while back which is perform animation right so we're going to call it here what to do is um actually handle the the toggling of the like and the unlike right so we could say here self dot um we called it is liked i believe right did we call it is like yeah we called it is liked right so we say is liked and um we just toggle it right if it's false make it true if it's true make it false basically that right now the next thing we need to do is um after after this image right uh, within the z stack still right don't go outside the z stack just within the z stack we should put the image that we want to show when uh it's been double tapped right so the image is just going to be the same heart just a bit bigger and the image is going to be system name and the system name we could just copy the code here no need to reinvent the wheel after the sumerians we could just copy this it's just going to be exactly the same just a bit bigger so we're going to use a ternary right we're going to use a ternary paste this here so if it's liked we want the hat dot fill if not we want the heart right and we want it to be resizable and we want it to be scaled scaled to fit and we want it to be 250 by 250 so we could say frame is going to be width is going to be 250 height is going to be 250 feel free to play around with this um with this with this numbers so we have 250 by 250 like so and afterwards we want um the scale effect the scale effect and this is going to be based on the like animation on whether the like animation is true or false right so we called it like animation so we could have that and that is going to be uh, either one or zero like so right and um we want the opacity also to be based on the same thing so the opacity is going to be based on the like anima animation right so copy and we paste it over here right the opacity of the image and um the animation the animation in question is going to be uh, you could pick a few but we're just going to use um dot spring like so and uh, the foreground color is going to be exactly the same as this right so it's going to be black or red depending on um, whether we have liked it or not right so basically okay, that so now we can test our app and we can run it and when we run it we want to we only give it opacity when it is um when the like animation is in effect and of course we have the scale animation so we should do that and when we do it we see it and it disappears right we see it 
and it disappears right and at the same time if you check this because we are also toggling the um, the what is called the is liked we can also see it uh the color come into this right but this doesn't grow right so we see it going out here like this but we can do this and it grows okay why isn't it it looks too small okay you could make it bigger if you want right so basically that's how we achieve the same effect on our on our instagram app right so where is it uh, if we if we open it basically that's how we achieve the same effect right so if we scroll down to i deleted those images at the top so it's the same effect right of course um the difference here is that this is uh we check the back end when we load the image we check the back end first whether or not um it has been liked previously right and then we decide whether or not this will have color right and when we do that we also change this and we include it in a map in the a map in uh, in firebase right uh or a diction what you would call a dictionary in in swift yeah so basically that is how we achieve the same effect um by using uh by using animation and um gestures and a couple of property wrappers pretty straightforward thank you for watching subscribe to the channel if you're new uh so that we can continue building this we have made a bit of headroom uh, i think we're now a um, couple of videos in uh, but there's still some ways to go uh, but i just wanted to show how you would um, implement the double tap to like feature and also the animation the heart animation when i use a likes a photo uh thank you and have a good day